Hello everybody, welcome to our channel Being Civil. In a previous video, we have learned the basic concept of conjugate beam method and also have proved the theory. Now it's time to do an example. Let us first try to solve a beam, uh, a very simple beam that is simply supported beam. subjected to a concentrated force in a midpoint so uh, as per the conjugate beam method we have to first convert this real beam into a conjugate beam those who have not seen my previous video just uh, go to the video and watch the theory and then come back to this video and see the example mm, as per conjugate beam method if there is a hinge support in a real beam then it will be hinge support in conjugate beam also so the conjugate beam will be same simply supported so now we have to draw the m by ei diagram so what is the bending moment at the midpoint you know this um, value is p by 2 p by 2 so the moment at the midpoint will be p by 2 into l by 2 this is pl by 4 and it will be linear as this is sagging moment so the drag uh, the value will be positive so this is the m bending moment diagram but but you have to draw the m by ei diagram so the m by e i diagram is like this and uh, this coordinate will be p l by 4 e i this as this is a, um, a positive bending moment so the load will be downward now first we have to determine the slope then the deflection at the midpoint now as per the theory the shear force at these two point and B uh, will be the slope of the real beam so the shear force is uh, is nothing but the reaction at point A and B and both are equal in this case so RA equals to RB equals to uh, this total force divided by 2 so uh, the area of the triangle is half into base that is L height is PL by 4EI by 2 so it becomes PL square by 16EI so these are theta A and theta b both so we have determined uh, the slope at two extreme points a and b of the beam by conjugate beam method now it's time to determine the 
deflection that is a maximum deflection there is a midpoint so as um, so as per the theory the bending moment of the conjugate beam at the midpoint the bending moment at the midpoint will be the deflection of the real beam at the midpoint so the bending moment at point c equals to uh, cg there is there is cg is equals to uh, one third now so the bending moment uh, at c will be uh, this reaction is r a so r a into distance l by 2 minus uh, moment of this triangle that is uh, half into PL by 4 EI into L by 2 into distance of a CG that is L by 6 so what is RA? R is PL square by th uh, 16 EI so it becomes PL cube by 32 EI minus it becomes PL cube by 96 EI. So simplify it, it will be PL cube by 48 EI. So this is the maximum deflection of real beam so this is the first example of a very simple beam determined slope and deflection by using conjugate beam method uh, we will do another example in the next video if you like this video please thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below Thanks for watching, stay tuned.